Hey everybody, it's Brian for GumballTech.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to re-enable AirPrint on Mac OS X 10.6.5. And Apple removed the AirPrint feature from the final version of 10.6.5 at the last minute it seems, but luckily it was available in the developer editions. So somebody created this nifty little application that lets you copy the required files back over to your computer, and it also lets you delete them if you wish. So the first thing you need to do is click on the link down below in the description and it basically takes you to our how-to post. Um, and then you need to click on download and save the zip file to your computer. And then after you've saved it, you need to open it up and out comes a .app file. Now here you see my iPad simulator and I'm going to go ahead and show you that no printer shows up when I want to print something. And then right after I get all of this set up, it will immediately show up. So what you need to do now is open up the AirPrint Hacktivator application. And you have two options, Hacktivate, which lets you enable AirPrint, and Dehactivate, which removes the files. So the first thing you need to do is click on Hacktivate, and you'll be asked to enter your system password. And then it will tell you that activation has been completed, and you need to remove and add back the printers that you want to share via system preferences. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to remove my printer. I'm going to add it. Then I'm going to go over to my sharing preferences and make sure that this printer is checked. And you can see right here immediately that my printer popped up and I could print to it if I wish. So that was just a quick tutorial on how to enable AirPrint on Mac OS 10.6.5. Uh, nobody really knows why Apple seems to have removed it, but they did. And this is a free and quick way on how to get everything going. Now you only need to run this program once. If you reinstall Mac OS X from scratch, you'll have to do this again, but once you've used it and once you've decided whether or not you'd like to keep AirPrint, you can go ahead and remove those two files. And that's it. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them down below in the comments area. But other than that, that's about it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys later.